So hi folks, so welcome to the Esoform channel and thank you for tuning in. In this particular video, I am your personal repairman, Tim the Toolman Taylor. And boy, is it getting hot? <laughs> Not in here, but in here because the fan of my cool ZWO camera broke down. So in this video, I'm going to try and replace this broken fan with a new one. Let's see how it goes. So for this particular endeavor, we're going to need a lot of stuff such as the camera with a broken fan, a replacement fan I got for, I don't know, 20 bucks, something like that. I will put a link in the description and a screwdriver. So the first step is of course to remove the broken fan from the camera and on the back of the camera we have seven screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll start by opening up the camera first. God damn. So I do apologize for the noise in the background because my neighbor is completely rebuilding his home. But anyway, as you can see, the fan is uh, simply uh, attached to this spring board and just by gently pulling on the thread over here, you can remove the broken fan from the ZWO camera. So um, let's try to replace it with a new one. So we have this new fan over here, a little grill to protect the fan, four screws, and four rubber rings you can see over here, and we have four titanium rings. Now what is really important or really uh, good to know is that you can actually separate the back plate from the rest of the, the, the plating here. And that really makes it a lot easier to connect the new fan uh, on your uh, camera. So yeah, I tried a couple of things and I think this is the easiest way to reconnect a new fan to the camera. So first of all, you can see that I put the four screws on the table like this. And I will first reconnect the back plate to those four screws. And this is the bottom, by the way, just take that into account and let's grab it, let gravity do its job here. So here, now the four screws are on the back plate here, in, in the back plate. I will put the aluminium spacers on each of the four screws. And then I think it is easiest uh, to just drop the protection grill back into place. And then on top of that, put each of the rubber rings onto the screws. So like this. And then as the next step, you can put the fan on, the, uh, yeah, on each of the four screws, of course. And then you can turn this whole thing around. And of course, now the fan is already in place when you turn it around, so that helps in yeah, keeping the screws in place, the screws will not drop off like this. Now I can just use my screwdriver to actually turn the screws and fix the fan into position. So finally, of course, we have to reconnect the back plate onto the, the rest of the plating here. So we can press, press it into place. And of course, then we still need to connect uh, the fan to the print board on the camera. So that takes a little bit of fiddling around. So I have reconnected the power cable uh, to the print plate, um, as you can see, hopefully. And then I slid the, the plating of the camera back into place and then the top comes a little bit off actually. So you need to fiddle a little bit around to make the back plate stick onto the camera. Um, so yeah, and then of course as a oh, <laughs> tick. And as a final, a final step, I will also reconnect each of the three screws that go here into the back of the camera. Like this. 
So I'm super glad I was able to replace the fan of my 1600 Mono Pro camera. And the only thing that needs fixing now is my nose actually, but unfortunately that will take some time. If you like this kind of content on astrophotography, please consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, I hope to see you again in one of my other videos. And until then, I want to wish you clear skies.